Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to rebalance an 18 volt Bosch battery pack to increase the performance. And I'm going to tell you why this is important. When this battery is fully charged, it should be charging to just over 20 volts. This is only just over 19 volts, which is a big drop. So this is showing 19.2, 19.3. I will go to one that's what I would consider perfect. I'm going to show you the voltage at just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about that's 20.1 so there's almost a volt of a drop in performance in that so we're going to recover that volt and make it accessible using this Lipro balance charger first of all it will have to get off the sides and the sides of these have screws on them they're like T10 screws See two exposed, two covered there, three exposed, one covered there. There's little security tabs on the sides and you have to take them off, much like the Makita ones. Lucky for us, these little tabs are not hard to remove. And just use a long wood screw and screw it in to the plastic tab. It's on my sharp point on it, got you know, just to get it on there. Usually wiggle that out like that, and there's only two more to do. All the little tabs out now. Uh, just a matter of removing the screws and taking the sides off. So, with the sides off, they have this cover which is in the way, so we have to pull that back. It's supposed to protect the, the battery, I suppose from corrosion or shorting out or whatever. Some insulation there, there's a little bit of rubber there, but I don't know how much good that does. It's definitely in the way for this job, anyway. Because this is the first time this one's been opened, we don't know the status of the cells. So we're going to have to test them. What we're really looking for is difference in voltage from one bank of cells to another. And we're going to correct that. 409, that's, that's maximum I would say. 318, there's the problem. There's no way this battery could be performing properly. There's nearly a voltage drop. And this second bank of cells, that's where it'll be, that's where the problem will be. That's amazing. 409 there as well. I didn't expect it to be that much. I expected a few cells to be. It's a wonder that battery's even charging. Sometimes it doesn't charge when the bank's that low. Boss, you just built differently, aren't they? So this second bank in has to be re rebalanced as much as as I would call it what I mean by that is these are all 409 4.09 this is what 329 or whatever so we have to bring this bank up with the lithium ion B6 charger to match the rest and that's quite simple to do I'm going to show you how to do it now right, so here we are this is the lithium B6 charger and to set it, we have to set it to charge, Lipro charge, and we'll probably put down the amperage a little bit. What do you see? 
We'll probably put down the amplitude to. Let's not go mad. Let's let's say two. Two's pretty. Two's a lot. Two's a lot, but it's still. It'll be all right. Two's a lot. It's <coughs> plenty. But anyway, and we have to change the uh, series put it to one S. 3.7 volts so you're bringing that up to four, over 4 volts before it'll stop charging and to attach these to the sides these plus and minus you first of all have to get the polarity right you have to know your plus from your minus the charger easily tells you if you get it wrong but in this case this is the plus and this is the minus I'm using magnets to attach them so what I'm going to do is there's the there's the minus one and attach it there. Be careful, don't cross the uh, cross antenna or bank with the uh, with the magnet. And accidentally cross connect these two, for example, you'll have a sparky time. But anyway, you'll know that quickly if that's happening. And we charge it. Touch this plus here with the magnet, and then I set the charger. Hold that button or check the battery, the connection brick. Brick isn't good enough connection there. Try again. There we are, we're getting the connection this time. The connection wasn't firm enough. And then I just had it. And that will start to bring it up. And when it's finished, charging that. It'll signal there'll be a little beep and it'll say fully charged. That bank of cells is this. And that should be all we need to do. We'll just see how it goes here. And there's a little timer on these chargers that shows you how long it took how long it's been on. So we'll mod that. So we'll come back to that and I'll let you know how this goes. Here we are now. It's been charging for 119 minutes. You can see the voltage, or sorry, the amperage starting to drop. It's putting 4.2 volts into it at the minute. So that amperage dropping, that means we're near our destination. We could probably just take it off now and we will be there. So just stop the charger. 119 minutes that took. Take them off carefully. So nothing remains to do but just to put this together and see if uh, we have a good job. Which we should have. Right, now we'll just um, test the voltage. I think it was 19.3. 19.3. So we should be up over 20 volts now if we've done our job right. And that is 20.1. That's perfect. So we have a fully balanced pack. So that gives that the best chance to perform to its maximum potential. I'm calling that fixed, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.